This is a pretty cool budget CO2 pistol. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load, and this is the Hammerly S26. And it is pretty cool. Pretty cool for the money. These are running at about £100 here in the UK. Uh, this one's actually, I think it was just under, to be precise. Uh, and it is really a pretty cool gun for the price. Uh, to be honest, when I, when I was about to pick one of these up, I thought, uh, this is going to be really sort of plasticky, you know, airsofty. Not that I'm knocking airsoft or anything. Um, but when I picked it up, I was quite surprised with the weight. It was really sort of quite uh, quite hefty for such a cheap, cheaper gun. So let's take a look at the box then, and then we'll get stuck in and uh, talk about the actual gun itself. So pretty cool box, cardboard box, got all the uh, details on it. Um, you know, CO2, 12, 12 gram, um, 177 or four and a half mil uh, pellet. Uh, eight shot as well, takes you your, your sort of standard rotary magazines. I've oh, got one here. Comes with two. Two of these mags. Uh, I've found, and I, it also recommends as well, that you uh, use sort of target wad cutter pellets, you know, these sort of, these sort of pellets. Um, it runs better with those than uh, other, other types of pellets. Um, but yeah, going into sort of more detail about this uh, gun, obviously, just talking about these specs here, uh, it's got a movable slide. Uh, I'll tell you more about that when we take a look at the gun. Um, got sights on it as well, you know, usual sort of stuff. Um, total length of it is 195 millimeters, and the weight, like I said, it's quite hefty, 850 grams. So it's nearly a kilo, this thing is. Uh, velocity up to 110 meters per second. These are fairly sort of low low velocity. These uh, air pistols are. Uh, these CO2s are. Obviously, you still got to treat them with respect. Um, accuracy wise, eh, it, was, it was all right. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a back garden plinker. You know, it's it's a good fun, uh, good fun gun. Um, and yeah, for the money, like I said, it's really cool. So let's take a look at it then. This is the uh, nickel slided version. Let's uh, just get rid of the box. Now, it does look pretty cool, I must admit. And like I said, it's quite surprising when you, when you pick one of these up, uh, the weight of it. Now, you load it like your conventional um, CO2 by pressing that and it will release the sort of breach where you drop your magazine in. I know I'm doing this in gloves as ever just to sort of show you. And then you just close it up like that. Now like I say you can do this wearing gloves so it can be a little bit fiddly but you soon, soon sort of get the feel of it. So yeah drop your mag in, drop your 8 shot mag in, good to go. Now like I said it's supplied with two of these. One's like um. I think that's plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. And then you've got like a, a metal one as well. So worth getting some spare ones of these because uh, you'll find yourself just constant, constantly reloading these things. Now I've seen a video, I watched a review on one of these and the guy, he charged it all up, put a mag in and I've seen him and obviously I've got no mag in and the gun's safe. And I know it's only a CO2 pellet gun but I seen him close it up like this and I kind of sort of cringed, you know what I mean? Guys, don't put your hand in front of the muzzle. I know it's obvious, I know the guys that are watching this, you know, you're way more sort of uh, educated than uh, me having to sort of tell you that. But yeah, it was quite a big YouTube channel and he sort of loaded it like this. And I'm like, dude, seriously. But anyway, we all know about gun safety, so I won't sort of go into that. But yeah, more about this gun then. So, 8 shot CO2. You've got single action and double action. Now this has actually got a uh, CO2 cartridge in. Uh, it's virtually ran out, but 
your double action, obviously, now look, there's no mag in it. Pull the trigger, and it's not a bad trigger to be honest, you know, for a, a gun that's at this sort of sort of price line. Not bad. But the good thing about it, and to give it a bit of sort of authentic authenticity when I can say it, to get it on single action rather than cocking the hammer, you just pull the slide like that, and that cocks the hammer. So I found that pretty cool. Makes it for a more enjoyable sort of uh, shooting session when you got to pull that slide back. You can actually cock the hammer back by hand, or just pull it back. Pulling it back is sort of more fun, if you ask me. Now the slide on this S26 is metal. Uh, you can get these in all black, this is like the stainless version and all the frame as well is metal which was quite surprising, I thought that would be polymer the only polymer bits on this gun are just really the handle and some of the controls uh, so that really is sort of uh, quite good quality really for the money that you're paying for one of these things uh, like I say they come in black as well as this uh, stainless version but this does look kind of sort of blingy, this one does uh, really cool little gun to be honest the safety catch I thought was a little bit weird it sort of, I don't know if you can see that you push it in, it sort of goes in and out rather, rather than sort of up and down you have to push it in to sort of operate it you get used to it though if you use the safety um, but it does work well, the safety catch does I'll just sort of demonstrate Pop the hammer back, nothing. So it does work quite well. This is out of gas now, I think it's just vented all its gas. Uh, there weren't really a lot in there. I, uh, I did uh, have a few uh, shots out of this gun. I was getting around 50 decent powered shots out of the gun and getting, to be honest, say, say 60 shots and then it's time to change the uh, CO2 so that's not bad really, it's fairly uh, economical to use on the bottom of the frame as well you've got like a short piece of Picatinny rail so you can soon mount a laser or a light or whatever takes your fancy to give it that tactical edge the trigger's not bad to be honest, you know on a gun like this don't expect a match grade trigger, uh, but this one's really quite quite good. It's you know it's nice and comfortable, uh, even on single action. It's really not bad to be honest. It's fairly predictable, um, but seriously, guys, you're going to be just blatting this thing at tin cans anyway. Um, so you know, don't really sort of worry about the trigger. Now the sights aren't bad on this gun, um, obviously they're not sort of high end sights but you can adjust that rear one with a little allen key if needs be and the front one is sort of just moulded in and fixed but it's cool, cool little gun rifle barrel as well, goes without saying Nice little gun though, and those, that's your release for the to open the slide or the breech to get your magazine in. Let's give you a close up of what's inside there. If I look down the barrel, we might be able to see the rifle in. So let's open this up and I'll show you where the CO2 goes then. So you sort of pull this lever here and then the back of the grip opens out to reveal the area to put your CO2 bulb in. And you've got kind of like the standard uh, thumb screw to sort of pierce your CO2 bulb. A bit fiddly wearing gloves I know. but. Uh, so yeah, you just sort of undo that, 
and then your CO2 will pop out. Let's just get that one done. So I just make make life difficult for myself wearing gloves, but hey ho. So that's undone. CO2 bulb comes out. So obviously you do the reverse of that, just drop it in, and you're good to go. That one is well and truly empty. I'll give you a close up of them in there, guys. Nice and easy to use. The grips are nice as well, they're nice and comfortable. It'd be nice if they were rubber, but they are just sort of moulded uh, polymer. But they're cool, it's nice and comfortable. You got like the Hamley logo there on either side. Looks cool though in this uh, stainless steel. Or it's supposed to mimic stainless steel, but it does look cool. Now the manual's quite good as well of this uh, S26. Uh, gives you a few safety pointers as most of the manuals do these days. Gives you a bit of a description of the gun and then how to sort of uh, operate it, load up your CO2. Nice sort of photographs there, easy to follow. Tells you how to load your mags up and load them into the gun and correct sight picture. All good stuff really. How to operate the safety catch and even how to uh, clean the gun out as well. So that's not a bad little uh, manual to be honest guys. So that's it then guys, that's a rack and load kind of mini review of the Hamley S26 CO2 air pistol. Hope it's been helpful. Thanks for watching. See ya.